God bless you, my friends. God bless you. Today we are here to talk to you about Christianity, about the love of Jesus Christ and the hope that is found in Him. We bless you. Thank you for welcoming us here. God is faithful. And so we are here today to give you a message of hope and love. That in Jesus Christ you can find life and life more abundantly. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And the truth of God can set us free. Jesus is the rock of our salvation. And if we build our home upon the hope that is found in Jesus, the home being the hope of our soul, then we can know that when the storms of life come, we will not be moved. We are here to give you a message of love and truth that Jesus Christ is the hope of glory, that He is the eternal hope of all mankind. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And He has declared that no one can come to the Father except by Him. He who knew no sin, Jesus Christ, born of a virgin, blameless before God, without sin, went to the cross and died for you and for me so that through the shedding of his blood you might be saved come around this way so that you might be saved as a sacrifice and a ransom for the sin of the world jesus christ humbled himself unto death but then exalted by the power of god so that through the resurrection of jesus christ you might have hope and you might have everlasting life with the Father. Jesus has said that where He goes, that He has gone to prepare a place for us, so that where He is, there we may be also. And this is the hope that we find in Him. That He is the way through this life. He is a way in the wilderness and a highway in the desert. He who knew no sin became sin, so that through Him, we might be the righteousness of God. We might be made right with God. Because Jesus will wrap us in a robe of righteousness. And He will don us, cover us in a garment of praise. And this is the beauty that is found in Jesus. We know that He lived a perfect life. He was blameless before God, born of a virgin. And it was no deception, my friends. Jesus did go to the cross for us. And he did raise from the, he was risen from the dead by the power of God. Over 300 people witnessed him upon his resurrection, my friends. And the testimony of his glory is found in us as we are a temple unto God. God bless you. And if we are born again, you see, we are born of water and of the Spirit. We must be born again. If we are born of water, it is when we exit our mother's womb. But we must be born also of the Spirit, and that is when God's Spirit is put inside of us. And our Spirit is sealed by the Holy Spirit of God. And we become a temple unto His glory. And He gives us purpose. He gives us a way to go through this life where we can know that God is in control every moment. We don't just hope for eternal life with God. If we are ransomed by the blood of Jesus Christ and covered in His grace by His blood, we can know that we have a promise, an inheritance with God through Jesus. And that when we die, we will surely be with Him for eternity, it is not a hope. It is a known fact that when I die, I will be with my God. Because He has paid the price for me. And we are saved by grace through faith in what Jesus Christ has done for us. We cannot earn eternal life through good works. We must believe by faith in what He has done for us. Because we cannot do it for ourselves. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. What's up, my friend? Okay, why is it five minutes? Huh? Why? Because this is Musk. Okay. Is it your time of prayer? Yes, sure. Stop recording. 
We don't have right to stop now. recording, did you? We don't have to. I can stop recording your face. I can record we, him. But look. Everything, music, all. The sound, everything. Stop. stop we, did you Why? know in Bosnia is freedom of speech? Of course. But yeah, so but she doesn't have to I stop recording, man. I don't have to. I'm not she doesn't showing have to. you. I'm she not showing have to. you. Look. Call the police. Why? It's freedom of speech. It's freedom of speech. We can move. We can go. We can, we can go down. We're not provoking near, near anyone. The no. Okay. Why, why because it's free. It, we're standing here in the open square. It has nothing to do with the fact that there's a mosque here. Okay, but then it's church. Okay. We're not speaking against Islam. We're not speaking against okay, Islam. We're okay. speaking our faith yes, speaking in Jesus. The, That's no problem. Which is not true. We do, we don't have, not okay, but we, we live in a society where we can communicate listen, listen, brother, complex listen, ideas. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, normal. we'll move down. We'll move down. No problem. Place. Okay. You can speak if you normal. want to discuss yeah. about Your Islam, country, about uh, yeah. Christianity, yeah. we'll find a guy who's... Okay, uh, but we don't want to debate. You. We don't want to debate. But this is provocation. We're not, pro we're not provoking you. We're not provoking you. You are speaking yeah. about Jesus Christ. You know that we are not believing the same. Okay, but we didn't preach here because believe of the mosque. Believe me, brother. Okay. We respect him. Yeah. I know he's Jesus more than you. Yeah. Believe me. Okay. But we believe differently. Yes, and that is okay. We have the freedom. Okay. okay. We have the freedom to believe differently. Yes. I never go to church and say, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Okay. This is provocation because I know... But we're not in the mosque I'm, saying that either, man. Yeah. This is, oh, we are outside where we are free. 99% people here is Muslim. It's not 99%, 99%. it's 60%. We did the, we did the research, in 60%. All Bosnia. In all Bosnia. In, in, no, in no, Syria. No. 99% here. I don't know. Yeah. Turkish, Turkish... But we go all over the world, man. It's not just here. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're your friends. We are not your enemies. Okay. No, we, are not, we respect you and we respect your people, beliefs. You know, We're not yes, trying to disrespect you. I, li I listen around five minutes what I yeah. uh, speak about. Yeah. So we but we're believe. speaking, okay, and it's okay if you don't believe. But we're speaking our beliefs, just like you have the freedom to stand here and speak your beliefs in Islam. That's okay. Because in Bosnia, in Bosnia, the constitution guarantees freedom of speech. And we live in a society where we can be mature enough to communicate complex ideas just respect and just, just we, respect. we have respect you know okay. so you know what it's the Christians make for us? but but it, i didn't do that i understand you know, christians have the, yes i know but it wasn't me right and and i would even say what we believe as far as the type of christians that we are we we are not orthodox christians okay we, we're not orthodox so i i understand what what people in the past who claim christianity have done uh, but that is not us, okay? We we are Christians who would never hurt anyone. We would never do evil to anyone. Okay. Yeah, we will go down the street. Okay. Can I tell you something? But we're gonna walk this way. But we're gonna keep preaching. But my friend, we didn't we didn't preach because of the mosque. We preach because this is the public square. So you will continue to speak here. It's going to make a problem. We're not, We're not trying speak. to make a problem. But in our no, no. there's a time for preaching, for free, you know. We will not talk with you like it's going to be like I understand, you know. I understand. But we are willing to take that risk because we believe so strongly in our faith, just as you here. believe very strongly in your faith. But you want to make problem to make risk here. You know. No, we're not, we're not, gonna, to we're not going to disrespect the prayer time. You, you Don't worry. Speak whatever you want, but not here. And why are you now it's with, So that more people can hear me so I don't have to yell. Yeah. So you can do it you in another place, no problem, you know, because it, it's there going to be a problem shortly here, trust me. Yeah. I, do, I don't want to make a problem, because that yeah, yeah. you don't want to okay. make, you know, okay? Appreciate you, bro. Okay, thanks. 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 Yeah, we, we try to be respectful, man, um, because, but I, I think it's important to just know that, like, we have, like, we're, we're grown-ups, man, we're adults, so we can just, you know, you know it's, why, it's, a, com it's a complicated world that we live in. If I came here, yeah. And not more than 90 people, 90 percent here people is missing. If I speak like you about yeah. Islam, yeah. they will call me police. Yeah. Why? Not here. Not here. Directly. Right. Because people have ten years. Yes. Yes. But because it's continue. Yes. But because it's multi-ethnic. No, no, no. But if if you're during prayer time, it, let me know. Public, but we would not preach during your prayer time. We have. Do people do people feel that. very threatened okay. easily? We're not no, trying to. Of the war but like, here, if, it was if, a very it's delicate. Yeah. Because of the war. Okay. Yeah. For example, 
Yeah. We, we speak for good, you know, sure. not for problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like speakers call. Because, it's open because area. this is like a central area. It's open area. area. You know that thing Many over there? Many people you know. But we did stand over there. We reached there yesterday. Left. We have okay. the oldest church. But I didn't yeah. even, I didn't even see. There's no problem to go there. This when I was preaching, I didn't even notice there's a mosque here. I didn't even notice. We want to speak on the streets in general. Okay, you can speak with everything. The Austrian side. Trust me. Every side. Yeah. Choose the place. It's very important to choose a place here. Okay. Not in every place. Trust me. Yeah, but we didn't do it to be disrespectful. No, because of that, we speak with you now. Yeah. We don't know what is the, the problem here. I see. But I'm not Orthodox. And we are not Orthodox, okay? So we don't uh, we don't believe in like the, the priests of the Orthodox Church and all that. We don't believe that. We believe that we can all come to God and have a relationship with him and I can pray to him wherever I'm at, wherever I want because Jesus lives in me. Okay, that's what I believe. Okay, we love Jesus. Okay. But we I understand. It's a different, it's a yeah. different belief. Don't believe in resurrection. Okay. Yeah, we believe different things about him. Jesus. But we love him, we respect him. No, I understand that. I, I know that. That's all. Yeah, okay. We know Thanks, guys. God bless you. Thank you. It's all good. All right, thank Bye. you. God bless you, my friends. Today we are here to speak about the love of God that is found in Jesus Christ. He is the hope of glory, the eternal hope and salvation of all mankind. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let us turn to the Lord and he will have mercy and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. My friends, we are here as Christians to share with you about the hope that is found in Christianity that Jesus Christ died on the cross for you and on the third day he was raised by the power of God. Jesus Christ is the hope of glory and he who knew no sin became sin so that through him we might be made righteous with God, that we can be hidden with Christ in God. And my friends, Jesus Christ is the beginning and the end. He is everything. He said that he is one with God. That before Abraham was, I am. And the Bible says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. The Word was God. And all things that have been made have been made through his power, kept by his power. And he is the fulfillment of the law for all those who walk in the Spirit. My friends, the Bible says if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our heart that God raised Him from the dead, we can be saved. And you can know that you will have eternal life with God through Jesus Christ. That He is the mediator between man and God. That He is the express image of God in the flesh. That we cannot, even though we try to reach up to God, and we try to, to reach toward God. We cannot get there ourselves. So we need something to help us. So God sent His only Son in the flesh to be a mediator between us and the Father so that through Jesus we might be forgiven for our sins and given life everlasting. And there is hope in this, my friends, that he who has begun a good work in you will surely finish it. And if you put your faith in Jesus, believing by grace through faith and what Jesus Christ has done for you, you can be saved. That God sent his son to live a perfect life as a perfect sacrifice. We know that Jesus is blameless before God. We know that he was born of a virgin. And we know that he is the completion of the law. So we cannot earn righteousness with God through good works. We can only be made right with God through grace and what Jesus has done for us. So we believe in the finished work of the cross. Believing that he laid down his life on a cross for us as a ransom for many. That the certificate of debt for all the sin in your life nailed to the cross with him if you put your faith in him. That that payment will be made on your behalf through the shed precious blood of Christ. 
And by faith in what Jesus Christ has done, you can be justified. You can be made right with God. Born again, His Spirit put inside of you, you can be a temple unto God. And you can live with Him, walk with Him, know that He is leading you, that He is holding you up, that He will lift you up to walk on stormy seas, carrying you over every mountain and through every valley. Our God is faithful to do exceeding abundantly above all we could ever ask or think. He will never leave you nor forsake you. But the Bible says, my friends, that the wages of sin is death and the free gift of God is eternal life. So we know that if we walk in sin, we shall surely die. But if we walk in grace, believing in what Christ has done for us, we can be saved. And this is the hope that we find in Jesus. That while we were sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. In our sin, we are separated from God. In emotional chaos and turmoil. But in Jesus, we have peace and life everlasting. Hear the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Let every valley be exalted and every mountain and high hill be made low. Let the crooked places be made straight and the rough places plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all eyes will see it together for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. Repent, Sarajevo, repent, Bosnia, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let us turn to the Lord and he will have mercy and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. My friends, Jesus Christ is the Son of God, but he is God. He is the way to God. He is the answer for your soul. It is time to repent and turn away from the ways of this world, to turn away from sin and to turn to God by grace through faith and what Jesus Christ has done for us because we cannot do this on our own. The blood of Jesus was spilled on Calvary so that you might be forgiven, saved and made right with God. And this message is not popular, it's not something that we want to hear, but it is the truth that your soul can be saved and you can be given life everlasting with Jesus. And He has gone to prepare a place for you, so that where He is you may be also one day, my friends, this world, not just Bosnia or the United States or the United Kingdom or any other country, but one day this world will be burnt up with fire. And God will judge the living and the dead. And we will stand before God, accountable for every deed, every word, every action. And we must have some sort of payment for our sin. We will either pay with our eternal soul or we will pay by the blood of Jesus. But one day, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God. And just as Adam sinned in the garden, sin entered the world, and we are born into sin, but God made a way through Jesus to overcome sin and to have life with God. Because there is no righteousness outside of Jesus because He is righteousness. God is a spirit, and those who worship Him, worship Him in spirit and in truth. And there is life in Jesus Christ. He is the light in the midst of darkness. God so loved the world that He sent His only Son so that whoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. And there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. But my friend, this is the condemnation that those who walk in darkness are already condemned because they love darkness rather than light. And my friends, we in this world mostly love our sin. We love walking in darkness. We love doing evil things. But God has commanded all men everywhere to repent. And He has said, repent or you shall all likewise perish. Repent means to turn away from the darkness, to turn away from worldly living, unholy living, and to turn towards the face of God. We cannot do this but by the grace that is found in Jesus. 
And we wouldn't even know sin if it were not for the law, but God came to fulfill, or Jesus came to fulfill the law so that through him the righteousness of God might be made manifest in man. And the light of Christ can change your life. The love of God can break the power of your depression and your pain. Jesus Christ has said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except by Him. And this is the beauty that is the gospel found in Christianity. That the Word, the Word became flesh and the Word dwelt among men. And the Son of God came living as a humble servant, suffering death on a cross. Not by force did they put Him there, but willingly He went there for the sin of the world. So that through His sacrifice your sin might be atoned for. The Bible says, put on the mind of Christ. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You cannot be a different person except God give us the ability through the power of His Spirit. There's no books or music or videos, TED Talks or anything that can change us in the way that we need to be changed. Because we all, like sheep, have gone astray and we have rebelled against our Creator. And we have been separated from God through our sin. But God has made a way where there was no way. And Jesus Christ is the mediate, mediator between God and man. And my friends, Jesus is God. He is the way to God. He is the everlasting hope for mankind. Choose this day who you will serve, my friends. Friendship with the world is enmity with God. That means if we walk in sin, we live in sin, we're corrupted by sin, it means that we are separated from God and we need something to remove the separation and Jesus Christ, He is that bridge that crosses the gap between us and everlasting life. He paid the price so that we don't have to put your faith in Him. Confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. And believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead. My friends, it's time that we seek the Lord while He may be found. Call upon Him while He is near. Let the wicked forsake His way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let us turn to the Lord and He will have mercy. And to our God for He will abundantly pardon Sarajevo, it's time to repent and to come home. Come home, Sarajevo. Repent, Bosnia. Seek Jesus. He is life and He loves you. It is the will of God that we find Him in the midst of this dark land. He does not want anyone to perish. He is saying, repent and come home to your Creator. Walk in the light as He is in the light. Seek Him why he may be found this world is passing away this world will be destroyed with fire there will come a day where God will judge the living and the dead are you ready to stand before God in judgment he loves you he loves you we are walking off a cliff into our destruction and we don't even see it the time is late the night is far spent Choose this day who you will serve, Bosnia. Choose this day who you will serve. Repent, my friends. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the Word of God stands forever. These buildings will crumble and fade one day, but your soul, it will never die. It will either be with God or it will be an eternal fire and flame. With weeping and gnashing of teeth and the worm dieth not and there is no end to the torment. We don't want that for you. Find life in Jesus Christ. My friends, the kingdom of God has come near to you today. Hear the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Repent, Sarajevo, and find Jesus in this dark land. He is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other way to God except through Jesus. He is the only way, the only bridge. The thief seeks to steal, kill, and destroy. 
But Jesus has come so that we might have life and life more abundantly. God is faithful to do exceeding abundantly above all you could ever ask or, or think. Seek Jesus. Call upon his name. We are born into sin, separated from God as enemies of God. And we need something to make us, make us righteous. And we know that Jesus was born out of a virgin. He lived a perfect life, blameless before God. And he who knew no sin became sin, so that through him we may be made the righteousness of God. And this is the truth, my friends, that Jesus went to the cross and he died for you. And on the third day, he was risen from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is not a deception. This is truth. Seek truth today, my friends. We learn to, to see your soul saved. We don't want you to perish in your sin, my friends. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. Jesus Christ, he is the way to eternal life. Call upon him today. Repent for your sins, Sarajevo. Call upon the name of Jesus, Bosnia. The time is late. The night is far spent. Today is the day of your salvation. Do not delay another moment. You don't know when you will take your last breath here on this earth. And we want you to have eternal life with God. We bless you. Thank you for welcoming us here. Have a blessed day. In Jesus' name.